why Margaret is so good at killing you. I uh, actually, you know what? Let's watch this one right now. I want to watch this one first, especially based off of like you know what happened yesterday, and uh, you know the whole situation, right? Why? Oh, Margaret, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Elden Ring's premier gatekeep girl boss is giving people a hard time. I hate this. I'm talking piece newbies of shit. and souls freaks like me. I oh, hate man. this piece of shit boss, man. Oh, I try, dudes. Dude, I'm gonna get destroyed. What? This crusty old goat is such a problem that he was even trending on Twitter. I hate this motherfucker. So what's the deal? Is Margaret actually harder than FromSoft's other early skill check bosses? Yes, this in my opinion, I think he is vastly harder. He is he is vastly harder. Like it's not even remotely close. This isn't a guy to beating him, but maybe my hands-on research will help you understand why Margaret is so good at putting your foolish ambitions to rest. God, I hate that piece of shit. Rest. What a what a dick sucker. I started my experiment by rolling a new character. I went prisoner and dallied just enough to put one point each into vigor, intelligence, and dexterity. A level I got eleven. My horsey and I galloped to the boss arena. And oh I yeah, he's gonna have a bad Yurik time. Kurt. Yes. Ignore this guy for now. Let's just look at the arena. The fight takes place on a strip of land that slopes upwards away from the entrance. It's yep. longer than it is wide, and the sides terminate in deadly drops. The shape of the arena matters a whole lot. Space is a precious resource, and in this layout, you don't get it for free. Whether you're Ooh. a beginner or a veteran, there are going to be times where you want to put distance between you and Margaret to heal, cast spells, or just catch your breath. In a round arena, you could more easily retreat yeah. away from the boss. But here, once Margaret gets close, the only way to get this space back you have to run through is him. to pass through the danger zone. Yep. From Software has done similar things with previous beginner bosses. The Cleric Beast jumps you on a bridge, and the Taurus I think there's also a lot of, um, the other reason why it's hard is there's a lot of debris everywhere, and it, like, it stops you from moving, uh, f freely. And, and, like, that's usually not the case. Yeah, there's just tons of debris everywhere, like, there's, like, you know, destructible zones or areas, stuff like that. It's a lot. ...and shows up on a castle battlement that's just a few meters wide. But yep. this time, they took away the bumpers. And that makes a big difference. Ah! Okay. After I got the lay of the land, I switched into Margaret Observation Mode. Rather than trying to do any damage, I just focused on his attacks and jotting down their properties. One of the first things I noticed is that he loves to punish your instinct to run away, especially in a straight line. To new players, this might be frustrating. When confronted with something this dangerous and nasty looking, running away is a totally natural response. Yeah. Margaret is designed to beat that instinct out of you. But lovingly. If you're a new player and you believe you can always roll away... I think that, like, the biggest reason why Margaret is hard... Or there's, like, a lot of reasons, but I think one of the biggest reasons is purely be fa because of the fact that he holds his attacks. Like, the holds in Elden Ring, in my opinion, are, like... 70% of the difficulty of the bosses for me like yeah it, it's like 70% of the difficulty just the holds that's it spend all of your time retreating from bosses and never land a hit let's talk about how dodge rolls work in souls games you hit the dodge button and after a very short wind up you leap through the Whee! air and you have a few milliseconds or frames of animation where you're totally invincible Whee! Even if an enemy's sword or axe or gigantic golden hammer appears to be intersecting with your corporeal form, the game says no. I'm okay. Yep, but there the you go. the precise nanosecond those iframes expire, if you're still touching the ouchy thing, oh. you get ouchied. It's a powerful tool with clear limits, and yep. Margaret intends to expose those limits. He's got a big old cane with big range, so if you're trying to use your dodge roll to get beyond his reach, he'll still catch you. His cane backhand and overhead will bop you from a few meters away. But it's not just range, it's timing too. Take a look at the double golden dagger swipe. I roll, dodging the first attack in the combo. But the second and then he gets you with the second one. The well, this is one that they do. Like Gale has this too in his last phase, where he has his sword that's imbued with like the uh, uh, the fire power. Uh, like this is like after, like well, well, it's like the, I think it's like actually at like the third phase, right? Because you fight him at the beginning, and then he does like the thing, and then like does like the fire shit, right? And, and so it means to where like you have to have like more precise rolls because you effectively have less iframes.
recovery frames for my first dodge roll. This is trash. But wait. If I suppress my fearful instincts and roll to Margit's side instead of away from him, I exit the effective area of his swipes before my iframes expire, and he yeah. doesn't turn to track me in time. And when I get back up on my feet, I'm already in range to attack, so all I need to do is... Oh, okay, bye. He jumped away. Dodging into attacks is an old soul strategy, but it's rare that you meet an early boss this eager to teach you that. Yeah. Agree with that. After rolling around in the dirt for a few hours, I'd gotten pretty good at evading Margit's phase one attacks, so it was time to start hitting him back. And it's hard. Margit inverts the traditional loop of a 1v1 souls fight. Normally the safest time to go in on an enemy is right after they've attacked. Yeah. But not Margit. This is odd because he gets that he gets a stabby boy. He hits what you with I mean the stab it's always the stabby boy bro. His combos, specifically designed to punish you for relying on the old souls rolling poke. I hate this son of a bitch. Like honestly, I probably had a harder time with Margit than I had with pretty much any other boss in the game, minus maybe the bird. Like, whenever you actually count, like, all the deaths that I had on, like, the beta and everything, like, I had a harder time with him than any other boss. Well, and, and people say that boss is really hard, and we'll get to that. But I still think that I'll probably have more deaths overall on Margit than I had on any other boss. Of course, because of how Bardo No, I used another weapon whenever I progressed on him initially. These golden daggers don't come out every time, but you can bet they will if you try to attack immediately after dodging a cane. Yep. Those same extensions will also punish you for trying to block and counter with your shield. Yep. Margit's attack strings are long, and they don't always follow the same path. Check this out. Margit throws a diagonal swipe with a cane, follows up with a two-handed backhand, then a horizontal forehand, then a single golden then dagger swipe boy. directly into a retreating back hop with a mid-air dagger throw. Yep. He does the big hit. How about this one? Double dagger swipe. It's like, this is the thing. It's like, how can you say, like, big dumb boy with the big bonker is anywhere near as hard as Margit? Like, this shit was a joke, bro. Oh, my God. How about this one? Double dagger swipe into diagonal cane into single dagger uppercut into two-handed cane overhead. What do you got, Jailer Demon? Even for the strings that aren't long, Margit can mix things up based on what you're doing. If you move in close when he's charging up like this, he'll hit you with a massive overhead. Yep. If you run away, he'll, he'll do the double. forward with his two-hit spin combo. There's a dubby, one, two. He can even switch targets mid-combo, so if you summon a buddy and try to get a bunch of free backstabs... No. They Holy were truly shit, off really? the shits when they made God damn! Stab. That's insane! I think the most interesting Margaret's thing- Margit's not the Asylum deal. No, you're right, but like, I think that Margit is harder than any other boss in Dark Souls 1. Like, besides maybe Manus. Like, I think Margit's harder than Artorius. Like, for where you are in the game, yeah, it's like he's- yeah, he's- uh, Artorius is not that hard of a boss. Like, I, I think that if you- if, like, whenever I beat Artorius, and, and like, I couldn't beat it, I was just bad at the game. Like, I was, I was awful at the game. Like, now that I understand the game, like, Artorius is fucking easy. Margit's not. ...about Margit's whole deal is how slowly he runs you over. Yeah. Move, move. Yep. It seems like someone at From <laughs> was determined to dispel the myth that these games are about Twitch reflexes, and they're using Margit to prove it. We've talked about how long yeah. and complicated some of his strings are, but most of them start with very, very, very slow openers. This cane uppercut is a little hard to react to, but everything else I hate that one. That's long, the one attack that always gets me, bro. Like, I hate that. Long wind up. And while this may lower the skill requirement to dodge his attacks, it can also throw you off, especially if you're used to a snappier rhythm. In yeah. my limited musical experience, keeping time gets harder the slower you go. How do you count along to this? One. Margit is the culmination of a decade of FromSoft boss design. He's got a bigger move set than all the other gatekeeper bosses combined. Yeah, he but he's does. also the gatekeeper in a game where gates don't really function like they have in the past. As an early boss, Margit is a teacher, and his lesson here. Yeah, is and you can also just outlevel him.
that's the thing is like there's so many like you just go around and get more levels and then beat them at level 40 and it's not going to be a problem like whenever i came back and i beat the boss after i had uh you know my stuff i one shot him like i one shot because i i knew what to do right and then i just hit him with the stick and he died that you're not going to get far unless you're willing to do whatever it takes and adapt Orange Take it from smell. Bruce Lee. I, I think he's harder than Orange Scene Smoke. It's difficult to have a rehearsed routine to fit in with. Broken rhythm. You see? Rehearse routines like the flexibility to adapt. How do you adapt and survive? Literally any way you can. Go back to Limgrave for the Weeping Peninsula and hunt for something that will give you yep. an advantage. You can buff well, you up can your kill stats, this guy? exploring dungeons, finding new weapons, oh, I leveling go them kill up, him. learning new spells. You can summon I a jellyfish to friend to today. split his attention. You can practice Hell your yeah. parries and cut him off before he even does his fancy knife tricks. Yep. Margit is the most overpowered starting boss I've ever seen in a FromSoft game. Thank you, everybody. It's not even remotely fucking close. Like, Margit is ridiculously fucking hard, man. It is insane. That's okay, because you're the most overpowered you. You'll improve, adapt, and overcome. God help you if you get to phase two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn. All right, that's actually, that's actually a good video. I, I thought that was informative. I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is all I'm saying is like for me personally, it's a good video. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, like the difficulty of the boss, I, I look at it as like how long did it take for me to beat the boss? And I think that like it took me more time to beat Margit than pretty much any other boss in any of the From Software games. Like, uh, it was really, really hard. And, like, even inside of Elden Ring, I had more struggles against Margit than basically any boss except for maybe the bird. And I think that if you actually took the time invested, I spent more time on Margit than even the bird. Nameless King? Yeah, but, like, I was playing the game stupid then, right? And so, like, I wasn't even really playing the game the right way. So, like, do you really want to count Nameless King? Like, I don't know if I would. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. It's only hard if you're running straight to them and they go with a stick. Well, there's a lot of people that disagree, okay? I know that there's a lot of people who uh, who think about, you know, they're like, oh, well, it's not hard. I'm so good at the game. I was able to beat it fast because I'm good at the game. It's not hard. Yeah, it is. Like, it, it's, a, it's a hard fight, right? It, it is. It's a hard fight compared to most of the other fights in the game, man. McConnell spent five hours on him? Yeah, he did. And um, But that's not really... That, that's McConnell, though. Like, I'm talking about, like, just, like, an average player, right? And, and, like, you think about, like, an average player probably spends, like, at least a few hours, and then on top of that, then they have to go and maybe, like, level up more or do some other stuff, right?